Hey guys, so as promised, we're gonna do an unboxing for Ice Yarns. And it's my first time ordering from them, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I would say that I am not an expert crocheter or fiber artist. I'm just a hobbyist and I'm pretty bad at it actually. But I really do like, I, I get into phases where I like crocheting. Uh, and when I am, I like to have a nice yarn. And so I just did this project and I'll show it to you guys later. But um, I had a project that was a yarn eater afghan. So I made like uh, granny squares with four different strands to use up all the old yarn that I had because I was sick of looking at it. It had like moths. Um, and then I treated myself to getting a whole bunch of new yarn from ICE. And ICE is, you know, there's not a ton of information about it out there, but it's a Turkish company. Uh, and I think they do not just their own brands, but I think that they make yarn for other companies, for companies in the US, for companies in Europe, um, but mostly not like yarn you'd make clothing out of in a factory, but yarn that you use for craft. Um, so I think in addition to ice yarns, they definitely do um, yarn art, if you've heard of that brand. Um, and I've used yarn art before, but I've never ordered from ice. Uh, so it was a cool experience. Their website is very clunky. And I think that's probably the number one criticism I've heard of them is that if you're trying to find something on the website, it's going to take a while. You have to kind of know what you're looking for. Uh, and that's good if you're a picky yarn person because they have like a thousand different varieties, probably more because they have hundreds of different types of yarn and then they all come in different colorways. Um, so for me, somebody who's a nerd and somebody who's really picky, I actually really like using their website. Um, the other thing that people will say is that Ice is, I guess, a budget yarn company because all of the product is pretty inexpensive, but everything ships from Turkey. So the shipping ends up being pretty much the same cost as what you buy. So if you buy something that's $4, shipping's $4, you're actually paying $8 for whatever you bought. Um, that being said, I bought a lot of yarn, it seemed like, and the sh I, I, you know, I'll try to find my receipt for you guys, but I think altogether I paid $125 for what I bought, and that included shipping. Um, but we're gonna see how much yarn I actually got for that. Uh, the other thing I would say while I'm looking for this receipt is that it came really super quick. Probably, I think I ordered this stuff on Thursday. Um, it shipped from Turkey, and I'm in Los Angeles, California, and it got to LA today, which is Wednesday. So that's super quick in terms of international shipping. And I mean, for all you folks in the future, this is the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. So things have been shipping really slowly. And I actually got my order two days behind schedule. Uh, so this shipped incredibly quick. And I ordered, let's see, $99 of yarn and shipping and handling was $53.95, no tax. Uh, so altogether I paid $153. Um, but I, I feel like it's a really fair price for what I got. So let's, let, let's get into it so you can actually see what I got. It came in this like branded packaging, came FedEx. It came, it shipped out of Europe or out of Turkey with a company called TNT, which is apparently, I don't know, European FedEx, but it's the same company. It's owned by FedEx. Ooh, uh, sets it apart. Ooh, what's this? Stay safe and strong, we love you. Cool, it came with a face mask for coronavirus. That's awesome, it's such a nice thing. Made in Turkey. It's like a nice little, can you guys see that? Yeah, cool. I love free stuff. All right, let's get into it. Uh, this is the first one I bought. This one is, let's see what it's called. Silk cotton. Came with four skeins. Skeins, skeins. I feel like that's the first time I'm ever saying that word out loud. We're gonna go with skeins for now, but I'll look it up after the video. Um, yeah, so this is the silk cotton lilac. Let's get into it. Oh wow. Oh yeah, this is super soft. Um, so this is a uh, yarn, it says, let's see what, let's break it down. This is 32% silk and 68% cotton. So I feel like when I'm crocheting, the thing that I'm really 
anal retentive about is I don't like using acrylic, which is probably 99% of the yarn that you get in a Michaels or a Joanne or a Hobby Lobby. I just don't like, for whatever reason, uh, you know, man-made fibers. I feel like they are sweaty and itchy, and you know, I don't like the idea of you know, wearing something made out of petroleum, essentially. So I always try to go for you know, yarns that are made of natural fiber. So I like this one because it's, again, it's 32% silk, 68% cotton. Um, and this one is called Baby Lilac, I think is the color. I don't know, yeah, something lilac, baby lilac, not the full lilac. But it's really nice and soft. I'm trying to find an end here to show you. And it's hard to get the color. I wonder if you guys can, let's see how, there you go, yeah, that's a good representation. So it's like a baby blue. It's nice. Um, it's kind of a, it's a little bit thinner than probably your average you know, Michael's yarn. So you could use it for finer projects, but it's definitely not so thin that you would use it for like crochet thread. Um, it's good. It's, you know, it feels strong, doesn't feel weak. Um, it feels really kind of powdery soft. It's nice. I don't, I wouldn't say it feels silky. It's not shiny at all. It's pretty matte actually, but it looks good. And I got this in two colors, so I'll show you the other one too. This is baby lilac, but it, I would definitely say it's more like a baby blue. And uh, the other one that I got is right here. I got, and this came with four skeins each for the silk cotton. And I'm looking, I have it pulled up, I think. But these for four skeins was $10. So $2.50 a piece for each of these skeins. Uh, they come with four in a pack. I don't think you can really break it down to get one at a time. Um, so four of them cost $10 plus shipping. Which is pretty good deal. I mean, $2.50 for silk cotton yarn. You're not going to get that. At, definitely not at a Michaels because they wouldn't sell it. But even at like a fancy yarn boutique, they probably would charge like, oh gosh, six, seven, eight, ten dollars $10, something like this. So this is the same thing, silk cotton. And it's in pink and it's a it's a nice pink it's not it's not pastel baby pink and it's not neon it's it's a true pink i'd say um i have two nieces so that's why i got the baby blue and this pink color is to make something for them with these and th it'll be really good they're three years old and it's soft and I, because it's cotton mostly cotton it'll be washable um, so this is good. I'm really happy with this. This is a good find. Uh, and I'm going to go through all the ones that I got. So you guys can skip ahead. I'm going to, I'm going to put down in the description box, the ones that I've outlined. And also this is my, I guess you can't see the whole thing. But this is my stash box for yarn. Do you guys have a stash box? Is there a cute way to do a stash box? I don't really know, but these are going in the stash box. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Ooh, okay, so the next thing that I got was I'm doing a lot of Christmas projects this year. Christmas crochet. Um, so I got this cotton yarn in red and white to do a bunch of my Christmas projects. And this is Almina cotton is the name. Um, they have a bunch of different 100% cotton yarns. This one seemed to be the one that I could find the most about on the internet. Um, and it's nice, it's 100% it's cotton and it's mercerized. So I don't know what that means in real scientific terms, but it's shiny. So as you can see, it has like a, a sheen to it, a gloss. And I'm looking for the end so I can show you guys. This is kind of interesting because it's I wouldn't say it's like a true red. It's kind of like a little bit more fuchsia. Let's see if we can get, there we go. So it's not like a garish, your traditional Christmas yarn red. It's kind of shiny. It's, it's very thin. You could definitely use this as like a thicker crochet thread, but it's also gonna work for the projects that I have it for. Um, Cause I'm gonna do like a bunch of um, amaguri stuff. Is that the word? Is that 
Is that how you say it? I'm new to crochet, you guys. Um, or I'm not new to it, but I guess I just don't talk about it out loud all that much. Um, so yeah, really thin, but workable. Like not too fiddly. And it's a nice color. I don't know if it's exactly the color I was going for. And I did order, so this one came with six in a pack, which is good because you know you kind of need a lot of it. But I, you need a lot of it because it's kind of thin, is what I'm saying. But yeah, I mean for, I don't know, let's see how much this Almina stuff cost. So for six skeins, it was $8. So like a dollar thirty three per scheme, which you can't be. I mean, like a, a twenty ounce coat costs more than this, and it's hundred percent cotton, and it is it, it, like the texture is very nice and it's very soft. Um, I would make, you know, you could make a scarf or a hat out of this. It would take you a long time, but it's it's not. Nice. It's going in the stash box. Filling up the stash. And then I also got the same thing, the Almina cotton in white. Hard to get this one. Let's see. It's white. Trust me. All right, open it. This is my first unboxing, you guys, so you gotta bear with me. Okay. So, wow, just. Blinding white, it's true white is the point here. And we'll try to, let's see if we can get any closer. Nope, not gonna do it for us. Um, but again, this is 100% mercerized cotton. I like this one a lot. Um, I guess I'm, maybe I'm just not into the color of the red Almina, but this is the white, it's true white. It feels super strong, it's not fuzzy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can kind of see there. It's not fuzzy. It's gonna be a good all-purpose yarn. I mean, I've been using, like for, for many years I used um, Lily Sugar and Cream, and it's great. I don't think it's a bad yarn. It's 100% cotton, but it's also, um, it's very thick. It's kind of clunky looking. Uh, and I think if you're trying to get like a finer detail on a project, it's probably not gonna be your best bet. I mean, I think, Suggested hook size on that is like a US 6. Let's see what this says. This is uh, This is for hook size 3 US or maybe that's a needle size. I'm not sure um, I crochet I don't knit Sorry folks, I know there's a divide um, But yeah, so it's thinner somewhere between a crochet thread and a, and a yarn um, But I'm really excited about this one. I actually have a lot of things that need I need white yarn for so I think I got all together, let's see, one, two, I got three of these. Um, so each pack of six, coming in a pack of six, is again eight bucks. Um, definitely can't go wrong with that for, you know, I'm going to use this for a million different projects. I'm, I'm going to have white yarn for years now, hopefully. Hopefully, if I'm judicious. Uh, let's see, so this is the next one. So, for, you know, I said Christmas projects. So you have white, you have red. And of course you have green. So I had some green laying around that was like a, it was lily and it was, it was called mod green. So it was kind of like Kelly green, but I wanted something that was darker. So like a forest green. Um, and this is not the Almina cotton. This is also 100% cotton yarn, but this is called Natural Cotton Baby. And this is a little bit thicker than the Almina, but not much. It's definitely not as thick as one of those Michaels yarns, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure that you guys know what I'm talking about, if, you're, if you crochet at all. But it's also kind of hit or miss on this color as well. Maybe I'm... Maybe it'll grow on me. It's a pretty dark forest green. And you can see on camera, it, it's not lying. It's got a lot of blue in it. It's, it's less, than, less than it looks on camera, but it's definitely a bluey green. It's nice. 
I would say definitely this one feels uh, more uh, more expensive probably than the last one because the other one was the Almina cotton is mercerized. This one's not. This is natural cotton, and it's got a little bit of a rougher texture, but I like it. Uh, it's still very thin, and it looks good. I mean, this will make great Christmas stuff. And it, it's nice that it's thin because it'll work with the Almina cotton. So if I'm making something in red, white, and green, uh, the natural cotton baby and the Almina cotton will work together. I won't have to change gauge or anything like that. Um, and I only got, I got one pack of this natural cotton baby. So it's, it comes in a pack of eight, this one. Uh, and let's see how much this one was. Gosh, so this one was on sale, you guys. So for eight of these, it was $6, which I don't think you can go wrong getting stuff, you know, that's 75 cents a scheme. Um, and I've never, you know, I've shopped at Walmart, I've shopped at Kmart, when that was a thing. Um, you can't get yarn for 75 cents a skein anywhere. Um, you know, maybe at your, your Value City discount store. Um, but this is like really nice, 100% cotton. Um, yeah, I'm really chuffed to bits about that. That'll, yeah. Uh, and then the last one that I got that was like a basic color. No, I got two more that are basic color. I got this, which is also on like Super Sale. This is, I'm excited for this one. This is linen, cotton linen super fun. And it's black. Because uh, the other color I use a lot in my projects is black. If you're like putting an edging on something. Wow. Oh, this is really cool. Uh, I'm going to try to get as close as I can because this is a really cool texture. This is a linen cotton blend. It feels really nice. It's really soft, but it's also like you, it feels like linen. It feels rough and nubby. Um, this is 60% cotton and 40% linen. Um, and it's again, it's, it's called super fine, but it's about the same um, thickness as the other ones, the Almina cotton and the natural baby cotton. Um, so pretty thin. You could definitely, this one is probably even thinner than those other ones. You could definitely use this as a crochet thread um, but I have enough of it where you can kind of string it together and you can use it as a yarn if you use more than one skein at a time. So that's probably what I'll end up doing with it. Um, but yeah, it feels really super nice. I'm excited about this one. Um, and I'm going to look up how much I spent on this one for you guys. Uh, so this one was also on, I don't know, clearance or closeout. Closeout's what they call it. So it was six bucks for eight skeins. So, again, can't go wrong with that, you know. And it's like, you know, linen. And you don't, I feel like I've never even really seen that in like a big box store. Um, so yeah, super nice that one. And I got two more packs of, this is slightly different, I guess. So it's not, it's not Almina cotton. And it's not natural cotton baby. It's not cotton linen. It's natural cotton fun. So as you can tell, there's a lot of nuances with the ice yarns. But this is a black, very, you know, it looks pretty true black to me. Let's see where we can find the end. Can't find the end. Oh, I'm going to mess the whole thing up. Let's see. But yeah, true black. This one is 100% cotton. And yeah, not much more I can say about that. It's, this is natural. Let's see what, what I'm confused myself now. This one was natural cotton. I, I'm, I can't find it right now, you guys, but this one was about the same price. So if I look back at my receipt, Natural cotton fine, so it was six ninety nine for eight. So seven bucks for eight of them, and I got two packs. Um, so I mean, if you need like a bulky amount of all cotton, you know, yarn, I don't feel like you can go wrong with this. It's definitely even cheaper than the Lily 
but it's definitely way higher quality. The Lily Sugar and Cream, which you can get everywhere, I would say that this is a much better quality. Uh, caveat being, it is much thinner, so your projects are going to take longer. But they'll also look fine. So, you know, it's trade off. If you're a beginner, I probably wouldn't start with something like this. It's going in the stash box. And then I think I just have, yeah, just one more. So this is like the, the crazy buy that I had. So this is Vivid Wool is what it's called. And the story of this is I'd used this one, but uh, I used it from Yarn Art, that company. Um, but I think it's it's the exact same product. Um, this is called Yarn Art Harmony when I've used it before. And at ICE, it's called Vivid Wool. Um, and it's, um, it's a roving yarn, and it has about a million different colors, which, uh, yeah. I don't want to say it's not my thing, but it's not what I would be immediately drawn to. Uh, but I'm going to try to show you guys. It's got really, really nice color. Um, so it looks shinier here than it, on camera, at least, than, um, than it is in real life. But it's so like it's this one. I think the the colorway comes in like eight different colorways. This one is hmm, salmon red lilac is what this one's called. Um, but it's so you've got your salmon and reds, and I'm sure there's lilac in there somewhere too, but. It kind of goes through the entire rainbow and each of the colorways does that. And they transition really nicely. Like they go from um, gradually from a salmon to a yellow, which maybe you can or maybe you can't see that, but it kind of like stripes in the middle. And then in the, if you pull back the layers, there's, there's purple, there's dark blue. Uh, it gets like deeper and it kind of repeats itself. There's, there's green in there. So this is just like a fun, Sometimes I get really bored if I'm doing a project all in one color. Um, and it, it's like when the boredom sets in, that's the most dangerous time because that's when you stop a project. Um, so it's nice to be able to have something that changes colors on you where you're always kind of looking forward to the next thing. Um, at least it is for me. It keeps me, I'm ADD, so it keeps me entertained. Um, so I really like this. The other thing that I'd say about this is it is definitely like a more traditional thickness in terms of like a yarn you'd get at a big box store. Um, and it's fuzzier. Uh, this is also the only thing I got. Let's show you some of the colors there, how the, the texture. Um, this is the only thing I got that has non-natural fibers in it. So this is 60% wool and 40% acrylic. Uh, and I know that makes me a hypocrite, but it doesn't feel, it feels like wool. It feels way less scratchy. Um, it feels kind of expensive. Um, so I'm excited to work with this. I've worked with it before. This will be like a great scarf or hat, or even, you know, like if you were doing a blanket, because I ordered a lot of this. So it comes with one, two, three, four, eight skeins in a, in a pack. You can kind of see all the different colors there. Maybe the back will be even better. But um, eight skeins, and that was $11.99. Uh, and I got, I got two of them. I went a little overboard. Um, so it was the most expensive one I bought, too. Um, and I went a little overboard in general, but I think this is probably the one that I'm most excited to work with. And, I, I, you know, people are complex. Um, maybe I'm not a hypocrite, but uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick tour of the all the yarns that I bought. I hope it's helpful. I was hoping that there would have been more on YouTube about these yarns before I ordered them because it was my first time. But overall, I'm really glad that I did it. I'm really glad that I went ahead and bought them. Uh, I think I would definitely order from them again. I'm excited to work up some projects and show you guys. Um, I'll also remember to show you the product that I finished, my Yarn Eater Afghan. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned. Uh, if you want to see more of this, you can like and subscribe right down there. I know you guys know the drill by now. Um, 
But yeah, thanks for sticking with me, guys. All right, have a good one.